Has Israel been replaced? Has Israel been replaced by the church? The Jews have never been replaced by the church uh, because of their unbelief, uh, according to Romans uh, 3, verses uh, 1 through 4. God states again in, in Romans 11, 1 through 5, that God has not cast away the Jews, but has always uh, reserved a remnant down to this time. Isaiah tells us that this remnant is preserved so that God can uh, bring a remnant to salvation. Uh, Isaiah chapter 10 verses 20 uh, through 22 and Romans chapter 9 through 11, uh, uh, you will find additional information on that. The salvation of this uh, remnant of Israel will recur at the end of uh, the tribulation, when the remaining Jews will turn to God and accept Jesus Christ as their Savior. It's in Zechariah 12, verse 10. And this saved remnant will go into the millennium, the thousand-year reign of Christ, in their fleshly bodies, and will comprise the nation of Israel, in which God will fulfill the promises that were made to them. That's in Isaiah chapter 60 through 62. And this uh, will then be the nation that God blesses over all others, according to Zechariah uh, chapter 8, verses 22 through tw uh, 23. A verse that uh, could be taken out of context or isolated by using an allegorical interpretation is Matthew 21, uh, verse 43. It states that, uh, Therefore I say unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. It would first appear that God is finished with Israel and that Israel is being replaced by the church. As we look further down to Matthew 23, verse 39, we find that Israel would not see him till they repent. So God is not finished with Israel, and therefore the church has not replaced Israel. Throughout uh, the Old Testament, we find uh, repeated references to the fact that the remnant of Israel will be saved. One of those is in Isaiah uh, 10, verse 22, which says, uh, For though thy people, Israel, be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption uh, decreed shall overflow the righteousness. So, therefore, God is not done with Israel. And this is confirmed in Zechariah uh, 12, verse 10, uh, which, which states, and I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications, and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. So this happens at the end of the tribulation period. And then Jesus returns to the earth physically to set up his millennial kingdom. Romans uh, chapter 2, verses uh, 28 through 29 states, For he is not a Jew that is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew which is one inwardly, and the circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men but of God. The word Gentile uh, means everyone but the Jews. Uh, so if we look at the church, uh, we find that it's composed mostly of Gentiles. But those Gentiles uh, outside the church in the world are not saved. Uh, likewise, we can look at all the Jews and, and, and must realize that the same applies to them. Uh, some are saved, but not all. And uh, Paul is saying here that the true Jew is one that is not only a descendant of Abraham, but one who is circumcised in the heart. Uh, which would mean uh, one that is saved and loves God. Paul isn't saying that an unsaved Jew is not Israel, but the true Jew, a descendant of Abraham and, and, and saved, is the Israel of God. Uh, nothing is said here that a Christian is a true Jew and, and the church is Israel. Uh, such views have to be added and read into the text. Uh, Paul continues in Romans uh, chapter 9, verse 6, and states, Not as though the word of God hath taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are Israel. 
Paul is answering how God's promises to Israel can be reconciled to our present condition of rebellion. He is saying that a Jew is not saved simply because they are Jews, physical seeds of Abraham. Jews benefited having the law and the covenants, but being born a Jew doesn't save them. They do not inherit the promises of God through the law of Moses. They still, as Abraham did, have to have faith in God, according to Romans chapter 9, verses 6 through 8. Um, Paul already said this uh, in uh, Romans uh, chapter 2, verses 28 through 29. So today we have the uh, 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 Jews that are a part of the church and then the lost Jews that make up the nation of Israel. And this verse doesn't say that a Jew is not a Jew, nor an Israelite is not an Israelite. Paul is saying that a true Jew or Israelite is saved, and they are not saved by being a physical descendant of Abraham. There is nothing in Romans uh, uh, chapter 9, verses 6 or 8 that says the church has or is replacing Israel, nor does it say anything about true Israel consisting of New Testament Christians. Replacement theology says the first Israel is, in this verse, is the church. This is simply read into the passage by replacement theology and uh, uh, supersessionists. Thank you for listening.